Shalom, this is your arc. Y'all is magnified. Coming back with another informative video. I titled this video, The Appeals Process Part 2. But before I tackle this subject, as always, I must state for the record, I'm not a lawyer, I do not practice law, and I do not pretend to. All my videos are for informational and educational purposes only. They're all facts and all truth. Nothing more, nothing less. So, so uh, with that being said, let's get to it. Okay, so this is going to be a quick video. Uh, I titled this video The Appeals Process Part 2 because it's going to be an update to the Appeals Process Part 1 so you guys can see what's the next step when dealing with your appeal, okay? Like I said, once you perfect your appeal, then, you know, the, the court will approve your appeal. Then, you know, you will have a hearing on that appeal. But let's go back to this video, you know, just to give you all a quick reminder of everything that I was showing y'all back then, back in September. So let's click on that. So, but we'll go over that another day. Right now, that's money keeping on the brothers that go in the court, you know, fighting, and then they get railroaded in the end and the judge still rule against them. Okay, so my arc in this situation, he went to court without my help. Okay, his first time in court, he went to court without my help, but he stood on the square. So the court, the, the judge ruled against him and ruled in favor of the state. Okay, like I tell you all, it's the state that's bringing you to court. Nine times out of ten, it's the state that's the claimant. Okay, not the child's mom. The child's mom signed her rights over for the state. So the state is the header and the state is collecting. Either the state or its agencies or the county is collecting on behalf of the state or on behalf of your child's mom or on behalf of the child. Okay, so my aunt went to court. It didn't go in his favor, so he reached out to him and said, Ark, I went in there, I did everything, but the judge still ruled against me, so I need your help on the appeal. I said, okay, Ark, I got you. You know, so he sent the gift, and I helped him, and I helped him in his appeal. Okay, so that's where we at. Like I stated, he went in there the first time on his own, but then he came to me for the appeal. All right? There's a lot of people who will not assist you guys with the appeal process because the appeal process is way harder than just going into the court and the lower you know, in these lower courts or in these family courts. The appeal court requires an, a brief, an appeal brief and an appendix to support that brief in most states. Some states don't require an appendix, you know. They require other things to be attached to the brief. Okay, so that was just a quick uh, reminder of what had happened in the first video. If you haven't watched that first video, it's called uh, The Appeal Process. Go back and watch that video and then come back and watch this video. Okay, so now with that being said, let's continue forward to see what's the next steps or where I've taken place so far. Okay, so as you all can see, this was a text message sent to me from my ARC on Monday, the, uh, January the 13th, 2020. Okay, which was yesterday. And he states in the text message, Salome, I, I received a letter from the court. This is the letter he received from the court, but we will go over it once we uh, finish the text messages. Then I said, Shalom, Ark, good news. You get to argue the facts in the appeals court, right? Let's go to the next message. Then he said, I thought it was very rare to get an oral argument in the appellate court. I sent the smiley face with the eye wink, basically saying, yeah, they said it is, but you can do it. And then he stated, your paperwork is, is legit, brother. I feel like they thought the facts we raised were irrelevant that they would have sent it back to the lower court. So any advice on how to prepare for this battle? And then I sent them the advice, but I only, you know, screenshot it where I could. So it states, uh, and I said, you must prepare and be ready. But we had more conversation after this. I just wanted to show you all that. Okay, so again, you know, he sent me this, and he also sent me the letter. So let's go to the letter now. Let's, let's go there. Okay, as you all can see, this is the letter from the Superior Court of New Jersey Appellate Division, right? Uh, it's the same heading as the last uh, letter from the first video. Again, that, that was in that video titled, The Appeal Process. This letter was dated January the 7th, 2020, this month, this year, right? I crossed all the personal information out. Why? Because he's still fighting this fight in these courts, Okay. He just wanted me to share it with you guys so you all can get better understanding of what's going on and see that, you know, it's, it's basically a fight, okay? But as you all can see, it says Hudson County Department of Family Services on behalf of blank, okay? So once you perfect your appeal, 
you know, this is exactly what they will send you next. It will say, uh, the above entitled appeal is scheduled for argument before the Superior Court of New Jersey Appellate Division. So once you are, you know, once you perfect your appeal, make it in the appeals court, then you will, you know, go and argue your your facts in the court. Okay? But a lot of people say, well, y'all is magnified. You tell us don't argue in the courts. That's true. That's when they're bringing you. Why? Because the one that's bringing you have the burden of proof to prove everything that they're saying, not you. Okay? So now if you're bringing them to court, then you have to argue. Why? Because you have to prove your point. You have, you have the burden of proof now. Okay? When they bringing you, they have the burden of proof. When you're bringing them, you have the burden of proof. And it's just that simple, okay? But let's continue. Oral argument is an opportunity for you to summarize your most important arguments for the court. Then it says, be prepared and know the record. Be ready to engage in a conversation with the court. Again, it states, be ready to engage in a conversation with the courts. But hold up now. Most people was led to believe that the court is the building. No, the court is not the building. The court is the judge sitting on the bench. Okay? The court is not the building. If the court was the building, there's no way you can engage with a, engage in a conversation with the building or you will be insane. So that clearly lets you know that the court is what? The judge. So if you go back and watch the video I did about learn from Curly, Curly called the judge what? The court. He also called the judge Cordy. He says, thanks, Cordy. You're a pal. Letting you know that he know that the, that the, that the judge is the court and not the building itself. But let's continue. It states, when the court asks a question, clearly let you know that if the court can ask a question, then it cannot be a building. It must be something else. So the court is actually a person, which is the judge at that time ruling over the case. But let's continue. Try to figure out their concern and address it. Be focused and do not recite the procedural history and statement of facts. Know that the court can end oral argument at any time it believes that the issues have been adequately addressed. Okay? Then it states the date was Wednesday the blank. I crossed that out, 2020. And also the courthouse, the location. And then it says on all appeals, please endorse the copies with the name and email address of counsel who will be arguing this appeal. And forward same to this uh, uh, office immediately. Okay? And I crossed the counsel name out. So now, you all can see. When I tell you all it's a fight, you know, it's levels to this fight. You know, it's, it's not simple. Like I keep telling y'all, it's not, you're not going to be able to file, you know, forms into the court and expect the, the fight to be over. You're not going to be able to just send, you know, affidavits in the court and expect the fight to be over. These people will railroad you at any chance they get, okay? Like I tell you all, all you know, only thing I could do is lead you all there. I cannot go into these courts and argue for you guys and talk for you guys. You all have to go in there on your own. And once you go in there on your own, you know, that's all I can get you there. I just can't go in there and argue with you or speak your facts for you or rebut the presumptions for you. You have to do that on your own. You know, I can tell you how. I try to prepare you how. But when it's time for you to answer these questions that, you know, the judge asks, you must be quick on your toes and know the answers, okay? You know, I, I, I can only do but so much, guys. But like I said, I, I can get you out there. But after that, the rest of the fight is on your own. You know what I mean? So, again, uh, shout out to everybody that's been rocking with me. You know, stand true, you know, because a lot of people was deceived at one point. But that person that did the deceive and that had y'all believing something is no longer there or no longer making channels or videos. The channel, he actually deleted his own channel. Like I tell y'all, man, the truth will be the truth and the facts will be the facts, man. You know, the real will prevail and the truth will be here. Okay? After everything else dies down, the truth will still be here. And that's what I keep telling y'all, man. I keep giving y'all facts, truth, and proof. But people hear new stuff and want to run hot with it and then forget what they learned or the reasons why they've been learning from the beginning. Okay? So, again, that's all I'm going to do for the day. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't hit the notification button, hit that notification button so you're going to get these videos, you know, when, they, when, they, when, I, when I post them. You know, it'll send an alarm to your email or to your phone and let you know that I posted a new video so y'all can get on it ASAP. Okay? So... I'd like to, again, thank everyone for watching. If you all need my help, hit me up in my email at yahismagnified at gmail.com. With that being said, you all be blessed. Shalom.